it's Alan. Welcome back. Sorry for the little bit of a delay. I know it's been almost a week or so, something in that amount of time. Uh, I've been uh, busy with some cool stuff here. First of all, before we get started, I'd like to congratulate you guys. We did it. We are now at 50 followers. I think maybe 51, something like that. So 50 followers. Now, as you can see down the bottom, the follower goal is 50. Um, I set it there because we reached our goal of 50, and I'm happy there. So for now, we'd like to get to 100. The next uh, time period for 100 would be December 1st is where I'm placing the goal because I think we got 50 within three weeks or something, so we should definitely be able to do that, I would hope. Um, we do have some new followers I need to re repeat here. So we're going to do some of these. There's actually a lot more... Um, in fact, I might not be able to get to all these. Let me see. I don't know why I have to manually do this now. So thank you guys. It's raining violets, Dolores for now. The Jertson, the D Toad 85, Hand Mike, Hicks Morgan, and we have Schroeder, which I believe I know you also in other places, but um Rob Tomeo, MTN85, and Kuliasius. I'm having a problem pronouncing some of these configurations. So uh, thanks for stopping in, and we will get started in a minute with my practice and stuff like that. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, hopefully the, the thing is, is actually working properly. Um, we had a little bit of trouble with the chat the last couple times, I was told, so I want to make sure... Oh, it seems pretty quick. It seems pretty quick. Okay, so we have one on live. Oh, by the way, people are talking about a schedule. Now, I have a suggestion box down the bottom. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but you can fill out what you suggest for a good time for me to do this so we can be here together. Because uh, I, I was going to say, initially my plan for this was just me alone practicing guitar, and I really didn't care if anybody was in here, which is kind of... I guess strange for the internet. Um, I thought maybe it would be a unique thing where I could just kind of practice the guitar and people could watch if they want, if not, whatever. But uh, it was mostly to get myself motivated to get on the guitar a little bit more often rather than just for recordings or show things. So I thought that would be a good idea. Anyway, it's changed pretty quickly, too. A lot of you uh, said you'd like to see me do more jams and chat with you and answer questions. So we've been migrating more towards that, which is fine. That's that's fun. Um at least I'm doing some guitar related stuff. I've been having some uh, anxiety and stress lately, I guess. Uh, it's very specific uh, to um, some stuff. I don't want to get into that, though. It's it's going to be going away, I think. Hey, what's up, 1B1? One, one one, or OB1, rather. OB1 Kenobi. I think I know who that is. Uh, I, have, I have a guess. And you're probably wondering how come I didn't message you back. It's the aforementioned panic anxiety. Um, if it is who I think it is. If not, welcome to the to the night here. To our late night. Hang on, I'm trying to I'm trying to fix my windows here so I can see what I'm doing. To our late night um, I guess jam session sort of thing. And I need a drink, so I'm just gonna jump right on into tea time. I'm just drinking water and I wanted to talk about this quickly and it's something that I never knew and I'm kinda smart, so it's weird. Uh, I guess you're supposed to drink at least half of your weight in ounces of water per day. And you, won't, you don't want to overdo it time period-wise. Like, you have to do just a little bit at a time, or else it won't even work right, plus you could die. So, essentially, for me, I'm like, two, uh, by the way, I've been losing weight. I'm down seven pounds since the past couple of weeks when I started really measuring everything and being careful about it. Uh, so that's good. And it's, uh, right now, I'm like 295, it said this morning. I thought I was a lot less, but if it turned out my scale was broken or something weird so i have a, a new scale and apparently I, I must have lost some weight but it's uh wasn't accurate enough so either way it's i'm going in the right direction um but i found out i'm supposed to be having like two of these huge containers a day at least actually a tiny bit more um now because i lost the weight it'll be about two of these thank you very much and uh congrats to you too leo gem for being uh for for coming on and for uh making it where are, oh, wait, wait, where are people, oh, I'm sorry, Crimson King, I just realized the chat's on there too, um, I, what's up, by the way, I, I am in, uh, Twitch and Facebook, Twitch is the one I'm trying to get followers on, because 
I have a str I have a feeling Twitch is going to take off like, more than it, it, it's already great. I have a feeling. I think it's the next thing. Um, notification is it working? I hope. Artificial official sugars. Yeah, I don't like having anything artificial either. Um, that's a good point. That's a really good uh, idea too. Thank you. I'm trying not. I'm not trying not to do anything weird. Basically, I'm watching calories. And uh, yeah, they, well, I'm not. Thank you for calling me a kid, by the way. What the hell is in my hair here? You guys see? There's something. My camera might be a little bit too uh, high. What the hell is this? It is. Oh, popular uh, belief claims. I've had people telling me that I don't have real hair, and this is a wig. Um, if if I had a wig, it'd probably look better than this. I can't get it. Whatever. I was doing some decorating earlier, and probably something. Oh, Jesus Christ, I hope that. Because I don't remember doing that. Um, or anyone else. That's scary. Okay, so anyway. Uh, <laughs> Crimson King, huh? King Crimson. Um, yeah, Twitch. So if you, by the way, we are live. If you could go on Twitch and press the, uh, is it gray hair? My cousin's here telling me it's gray hair. All right, if you go on uh, Twitch and hit the follow button, or subscribe and all that stuff, it, it helps me out a bunch because then I get recognized on Twitch that I'm here. Otherwise, I think I just go into the void. You know how you know how that goes. So thank you. Plus, the more people get on here, the more Steve is um, stressed out because he's got to moderate all you guys. Uh, anyway, so you're supposed to drink like half your weight in ounces. So I'm 295 pounds, and I'm not one of those people that are afraid to tell my weight I don't care because I used to be in better shape. Now I'm not, whatever. But I'm losing it. So 295, half of that is... I need a mathematician. I'm probably thinking like 140-something. And then you convert that to ounces, and that's how much water I need to drink. So one of these is like 73, all the way up about 83 ounces in these. So two of these is 160. So if I have two of these, I'm good. So that's what I do every day. I started noticing I'm getting, like, dehydrated. But yeah, Twitch is free. Oh, I'm definitely one of those, too. Yeah. Yeah, Twitch is free. It's kind of cool, too, if you're into um, seeing random people chat about video games while they're playing them. That's pretty much what it was for. However, I'm kind of infiltrating Twitch as a musician, uh, which is cool to me. Because I also play video games a lot, probably more than the guitar sometimes, which is bad. And if you know, you know, uh, back my history, I used to program video games for fun anyway. So I kind of fit on Twitch also, along with YouTube. All right, thank you very much. That's awesome. And on um, the YouTube, you guys, I've been like one of the, I think one of the first YouTubers ever, like one of the, one of the early guys. So you would think that they'd have me boosted up on YouTube, but they kind of hid me away. It's kind of weird, but an old millennial, me too. Actually, I'm, I'm right, I'm right past it. What is it? What is it called when you're in between? I'm, uh, I'll go back to my main screen here. I'm in between millennial and um, X or something. I forget what it's called. <laughs> I'm sorry if that came out really loud. Um, the, how's the guitar sound? I didn't play guitar in a little while. I'm not warmed up, but it doesn't matter. We're going to do what we do. Uh, so, yeah, all you guys moved. Steve is forget about it. That's correct. For some reason, he uses that weird name. His, that's his handle, if you will. Uh, he doesn't like the word handle. But yes, yeah, Steve likes to get uh, stressed out. The more people that we could get in here to upset Steve about managing them, <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. Um, but now Steve's good. He's very nice, and he helps out a lot. And he's the main reason I think we got so many people on here because he helps. He does help a lot. Unfortunately, I don't know what I'm doing. I just I'm good at the guitar kind of. That's about it. That's my thing. So yeah, if you guys have questions uh, or anything you want me to go over for guitar, let me know. It, it's we have that opportunity while I'm on here to do that. So screw it. I initially again, if you if you catch me a little bit late today, my initial plan was not to do that. I was supposed to just be alone here with a metronome, practicing whatever I would normally practice, and then people could watch it. Um, and maybe comment or something. But it became this thing since Steve came on. He said, you, you know, you should communicate with people more and be human and, like, talk. So that's what we're doing. By the way, what do you guys think of the new alien? 
it changes colors. It's supposed to look like a 3D head. I don't know if it really works. It's it's kind of neat. It's kind of it's kind of neat. Um, this is my bell. I try to reserve the use of the bell for like dramatic moments, though. Show us my warm up. Show you guys the warm. Okay, so I will do that. Normally, I will use a metronome, so I will have to. You went from 220. Then the cancer knocked me down. Well, Jesus Christ, able to eat again. Getting 247. I'm back down to. Oh, good. Remission. I'm sorry to hear that. Sucks. Drink water. Yeah. Uh, mic louder here. You know what? I will move the mic closer since I can't really make it any louder. Um, there we go. Is that is that better? You know, you guys don't care if it's in the frame, do you? Does that matter? Does this bother you that it's in the frame? Like, who the hell cares? Some people are really per particular. If that bothers you, let me know. I'll move it up two inches back. What the frig? Um... But okay, I will show you my warm up routine. I'm gonna use a metronome. Pioneer. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. If you have any ideas that you'd like me to do, this is our thing we're doing together now. Uh, I gave up on my plan within a week. So if you guys, hey Hulk, what's up? The Hulk music. <laughs> I think I did it wrong. Um, well, I'm glad you trust my judgment. I don't know if that's a universal concept for, for everybody I know, but <laughs> someone does. That's good. All right, so I, I need to find a metronome here. I would use the one from my picking program. However, I don't want to do that right now. So I'm going to use a stupid Google one that sucks, but that's all right. I should start using my picking program on here live and show you guys. You, actually, I could probably screen share it if I wanted. I never even thought I could do that someday. Maybe next time or something when I have a little bit of preparation. Oh, that reminds me. Um, right as before I do this, there are these things called badges on here that you guys could now get, um, just by being in here enough. So I don't not I'm not exactly sure the particulars of how it works. Oh, nice. I never played one of those guitars. They always looked cool. I think what did Kirk Hammett was using those for a while. That's one of the reasons I started playing guitar um, from watching him. I thought he was a really cool, uh, like a lead guitar player. All right, so let me. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit slower. So 100 beats per minute. Now, typically, I would do this without any distortion. So I might turn off my sound. So hang on, let me do that. <laughs> Here my literal raw guitar. By the way, I'm sorry about my shorts. It's getting. Uh, I was I was literally just on the elliptical. I, I did two miles for just. Uh, I'm supposed to do a little bit of exercise. I was down here. I'm like I'm gonna do a thing together. Okay. So anyway, oh James did. Yeah, he had like a weird sock looking backwards headstock. And yeah, again, uh, thank you for tuning in, everybody. I know I forget to mention it, but I do feel that. Okay. So, 100 beats per minute. My first part of my warm up is usually going to be a basic idea i'll give you my uh, i'll give you my long warm-up if it gets boring you guys just tell me and say like move on i'll move on uh, so the first thing i do there are 24 hey there there are 24 patterns um to your fingers going one two three four one two four three one three two four one three four two two one three four two three one four two one four three two uh, this, okay, so there's 24 of those. And what you want to do is I would typically pick four of those if I had time. I would pick four of those out, and I would do this. So let's let's do um, let's do three, two, four, one. So this, this, pinky, and then next. Now what you want to do if you're going slow, especially, your goal is to keep your fingers close to the fretboard when you're not using them, uh, and then. And in fact, let me, uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit if you guys don't mind. If I could pick the right button here. I hope this is the right button. I think it is. Nope, that's the fretboard or overlay. Let's do the next, let's try this one. There we go. Okay, so now you can see me close up. Uh, it's tough to see the chat, so I'm going to have to zoom my face in close to the screen a little bit. But now you can see my hand. All right, so we're going to do this. Three, two, four, one. But I do sixteenths. So we're going to go. Oh, sorry. There we go, 16th. 
which is four beats, or four notes per beat, per click. You don't have to palm mute. You could try it every once in a while. On the picking side, I'm, I'm an economy picker. I'll show you my picking. If you get bored, and I go up, you see what I'm doing? I'm going across the frets, up one fret, and then back down. <coughs> Pardon me. Now I'll go back down. Now this is this is probably too quick for most people for a warm up, especially when you're learning a pattern or something. So you want to go about this speed or triplets, but the sixteens work for me. I usually go 120 beats per minute. I'm only doing 100 right now because I haven't been on the guitar enough. And I, I'll, I'll probably embarrass myself or something. Maybe not. You guys want me to embarrass myself and do 120? My goal is always to be able to play 120 for almost anything. So here, I'll, I'll go 120. Screw it. Why the hell not? Oh, I just realized something. If I press that button, it changes my screen. Sorry about that. I will manually move this. I totally forgot that that happens. Okay, so here's 120. You guys are like, why is it starting soon? Um, all right, so now, thank you for the overlay, overlay comment. Now we're going to go up and down. So starting here, we're going to go right here. We're going to go three, two, four, one again. So just like that, up the fretboard. All right, but we're going to do 16th, so back down. Try to keep it on time. It's really tough sometimes, especially when warming up. By the way, warm-ups help your rhythm a lot. It's why I like to do them before recording. Or or practice of whatever you're gonna be recording a little bit. Oop, I fell behind the metronome. So at least I could go quicker to make it faster for you guys to see what I'm doing, but to do a demo I mean. Alright, back down. Now we're gonna go diagonal, so we're gonna go. Sorry. We're gonna go like this, and then the next fret up, the next string. And the next string, next fret, next string, next fret. I'm sorry. In this one, I go up two frets, because that's the B string movement, and then we do that. Then we go up a half step more, and then back down, diagonal. Alright, so it's. I started thinking about my foot positions here. All right, so that's the first one. That, that was the first of four. The next one, we pick another number. Maybe I'll go uh, two, four, one, three. All right, so 16 is the first way. You guys get the idea. I'll go back so you can see what I'm what you guys are typing. Alright, so that's the idea of that. Um yeah, I could carry out a conversation play most things unless it's like really, really hard for me or something. Alright, so the goal here. I'm gonna mute that because it's honestly making me a little bit crazy. Is that metronome too loud by the way? Or is it double? Does it sound like it's echoing or doubled at all? Even like a did it did it like a because if that's the case I have to mute my microphone, which kind of sucks to have to do. If it's not too bad or distracting, then I, I'll, it's okay. Let me know. All right, so don't cry, the Hulk. Um, you'll get that by doing the warm ups I'm showing. You'll get just as good. It's not. It's not that. Uh, it's not mystical. You know, you'll be able to do it. It's. It sucks because it takes some time to practice. But if you like practicing in guitar, it's not so bad. It'll be fun. Wow, this guitar looks kind of nice. This Jackson. I always like these shark fin looking in inlays. They're, they always look cool to me. If I had to pick the inlays I would want, I, I would probably say something like this. They're really neat. Hey, Drac. All right, so I'm going to have a little bit of water because I need to keep drinking my water. And then we'll move on to the next part of my warm-up. 
So you take the 24 finger combinations that are possible. I would pick four of those and I would do them at the beginning. That's the first step. Then the next thing, actually, hang on. I'm going to stand up for a second because I realized that sometimes when I sit in a chair for too long, by the time I get up, I almost fall over. Great dropping and seeing you. Oh, yeah, you too. I'm sorry to hear about all your struggles, but you are good. I mean, you're doing good now. That's awesome. Yeah, exactly right. Well, have a good night then if you're going. Nice seeing you as well. All right. So it seems like I got up. No problem. All right. So now the next part of my warm up is going to work on it tomorrow morning. Definitely do it. Just do it nice and slow and get it memorized. All right. Let me think here. The second thing I would normally do is um, I put out a lesson on ultimateguitar.com years, many years ago. And people really loved the lesson, and it kind of blew up for a little bit where um, everybody was, was commenting and, and taking this little lesson thing I did. So it's a simple idea. The blood bank. <laughs> That's a good joke. Um, it's a dad joke, but it's actually kind of a good joke. I'm starting maybe I'm getting a little bit old. I'm liking these jokes. Uh, so... This, it was called All the Aspects of Picking, and when I made it, it was when I was working on my first book uh, called Robots Technical Guitar, and the first exercise is all down picking. So I'll show you. You're going to go index. I usually go the fifth fret for whatever weird reason. You're going to go index, middle, and only down picking, and we're going to do across the strings. And then all the way back down, you don't go like this. You go... You're still going index to middle, and you're down picking only down picks. All right, so here it is at 120. All right. Now we're gonna go down up, 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 down up. Now only up. Now this is the one people are going to probably suck at, unless you're Paul Gilbert. He used to actually play guitar like this when he first started. Is why I was interested in trying it myself. It actually kind of helped. So we're going to go up, up. Like that. Now if this is too easy, once you get used to it, you can do triplets. Oops. Or... Ooh. I don't think I could do those that, that uh, 16th yet. At least not that one. So the next one's going to be up down picking. Oops, sorry. So do, 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 do. let's do triplets. What I mean by that is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I like those as triplets because it's like a little bit harder. Plus, you're practicing rhythms. You don't have to if you if you want to just go. That's fine too. All right, the next one is uh, economy picking. So we're gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down. So when you when you change direction, you you move towards the direction of the string change. That's the only times economy in this particular case is gonna make any difference in what you're doing. Otherwise, it feels just like alternate to those. Um, yeah, exactly. But that's the thing. So at first it'll take you a while, but then once you have it figured out and you feel comfortable with it, then all you have to do is start to throw that into your practice uh, or warm up routine, and you'll get faster. And then you won't have to spend as much time on it because it'll go by quicker, which is a side benefit of getting better anyway. All right. So that's the first one. Now the next one you go index ring. All right. So that's going to be down, all down. Down up, then up up, then up down, hawk smash, economy, alright, next is going to be uh, the index pinky, all down, down up, this is a good time to mention you probably shouldn't anchor on the guitar. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. I used to do this a little bit. You don't want that. You, you want you want to just be like floating. Up, down. Up, up. Oops, sorry. I screwed that up. Hang on. 
up down. The economy. Alright, now that's that's it for that. Normally I would go the index up up and then down ascending. Oh going. It's it's very easy for me because I've done it for a while, so it, I don't even it doesn't affect me. But um, if you're used to alternate picking starting with a downstroke, then yes, this is probably the opposite of what your brain wants you to do. So that's a really good reason why this stuff works, because it's all, again, I named it all the aspects of picking. So no matter what your picking style, you're going to have weaknesses on the, all the other ones. So this will help round that out. And by practicing things you normally don't use, you're going to help the thing you do use, because you're almost like reverse handic you're handicapping yourself, uh, reverse handicapping to make it harder. So it's like adding weights. If you're a runner or something, and you wanted to get a little bit uh, stronger, you could put maybe 10 pounds of weight on your belt. So when you're running, it's a little bit more challenging. Or if you want to pretend you're me while you're running, you could put 200 pounds on your already 95-pound uh, frame. That's a lot of weight i got to carry around. See, this is why I have, pro I have problems. Um, there's a lot of people even heavier than me, and uh, I, I want you guys to know that there's a there's a way to do it. You can beat it. I'm doing my best. You gotta you gotta fight it day by day, just a little bit at a time. You can't go crazy. You just have to watch your calories. I use an app to track my calories. It tells me exactly the amount I'm supposed to have. I update my weight to, so it does it right, and I'm sticking to that. It seems to be working. Now I don't have too much faith because it's only been a few weeks. Um, but it does seem to be going the right direction, and the math kind of adds up to what they claim, so that's good. And it's free. Anyway, but sorry, I'm, I'm going to keep talking about that. It's just been on my mind a lot. All right, so uh, the next part of my warm-up um, kind of sucks, but I'll show you. Okay, so the next part is this thing I give to people that they hate. It's a legato endurance warm-up uh, exercise. And this is going to be really hard for me at 120, but I'll show you. I'll get as far as I can. You're going to go index, or sorry, you're going to hammer on the middle, and then you go pull off to the index. You're going to do it four times per beat, like this, or twice per beat. You could go, or sorry, yeah, I go four. Where's that eights? Whatever. And you go up. Every four beats, you go up, or every four notes. One, two, three, four. Next string, back down. One, two, three, four. I know. I, I gotta get. I gotta get on it. I have all these buttons and badges that you guys are gonna be able to use. I have to figure out how to upload them again. I lost the page. Once I upload those, you guys can have. Oh, you know what? Let me ask you. Well, here, right here. Um, I was gonna put like um, different video game characters playing guitar for badges, and as you progress as uh, a member in here. Whatever that means. I don't know. They have some kind of guidelines. I'll have to read it. But whatever happens, I think it has to do with how much you're in here or something with, with us. Uh, so when that happens, you get a better banner than the other people. The only thing is, I don't know if you guys like that. You like the idea of the video game characters? I thought it'd be kind of cool. It'd be fun. It's like a little bit of a, a throwback to some of the old characters I liked. You know, I could figure some else. I was thinking I could have guitar players' pictures or something, but... It's tough because the icons are like 72 by 72, so I don't really have a lot of space for uh, graphic design in, in them. But anyway, now that we have 50 members, by the way, um, the, yeah, it's fitting for Twitch, exactly. By the way, the only reason I'm allowed to do this now with those badges for you guys is literally because you're all, you've all been coming in. Because we have enough, it's not just the number, just because I have 50, that's a prerequisite. Once you have 50, the next... The next goal um, that they want is that you have to have enough people on here consistently talking at the same time. So if you don't have like seven people or ten people talking at the same time, it disregards everything else you've been doing. So it's hard. Um, it, they don't make it easy on anybody, which is it's interesting. But we did it. We all did it together. You guys actually made it happen, which is amazing because I had my doubts. I was like, nobody's going on this thing with me. But it, it actually works out. So, and I think I think Steve's the reason. So you can all thank Steve for doing a good job, making sure everybody knows what's going on here. Because half the time I miss the messages and I feel like a jerk. And I've been told about that a few times. I need to watch the messages. Um, so if I missed anybody recently, I'm sorry. And plus, it's really small on my screen. Like, it's way over there. This metronome's like stabbing me in the ear. Uh, so then the next step is going to be the middle and ring. But I was going to say, the reason we have those badges is because... 
you guys have been on here. That's that's the only reason they allowed me to do it, or else it, it doesn't let you even access that part of the website. So now we have them. It's up to me now. I have to upload these graphics. I already made a, a couple of them. I think most of them. It might be done, but I, I have to upload them in different file sizes that they want. And once that's done, I, I don't know. I don't know if Steve assigns them or if it's automatic. I don't know how it works, but we'll figure it out. And there's other things involved here too with subscriptions that I still don't. I have no idea how any of this works, but we're gonna we're gonna learn it. All right. So the next thing is middle, um, or sorry, ring to middle. So now we're gonna hold the middle, and you're gonna go ring, pull off to middle. All right. Same idea. It's really hard with acoustic or clean setting. I almost just want to turn on my distortion so I can do it easily. Go up one octave. Next string, back down. Now this is a really good endurance workout. I've been giving this to my students for a very, very long time. It's not really a secret exercise. I'm sure other people have done something like this. But it's one of those things that I think people have been avoiding doing because it's like it seems simple and annoying. Seven, eight. Sorry. All right. So now it's getting hard. I'm gonna cheat. Ah. This is where I hope. I wish I had more protein for the day. All right. You can't hear the guitar. Um, probably because, uh-oh, um, I'll help you with cage right after this. So the next one's going to be the ring and pinky. So you're going to go, I love great buttons. Great buttons give you higher. Can you hear the guitar now? It's starting to hurt. Uh oh, I'm too weak. I should have started slower. Counts, right? Oh my god. Lactic acid has escaped. Alright. I sucked at those today, but that's okay because you got to see me sweat. Alright, so that's really, really tough for me to do. And it's tough for almost anybody. I'm um, using the pinky and ring exclusively like that. Now they feel all like, eh, eh, they feel weird. Um, so okay, back to the question that you had. Now that's that's most of my warm up. There's a little bit more, but I know it's getting boring. I'll, I'll show you guys more of the warm up maybe next time because that's I already gave you a lot. Like you could work on this stuff for a month and you'd probably be still doing getting at it. All right, so that's the bulk of my warm up. That's the the basic parts that happen. And then there's other stuff I'll do next time. All right, so now the caged system. Um, all the cage system is. I'll, I'll get a, go to a clean sound for you. <laughs> So the cage system is basically, now I'm going to give you other people's uh, answer for this, but I'm going to do my, I think is a better answer. Uh, the cage system is a way to identify and understand how to play open chords anywhere on the fretboard. They're called bar chords. So here's how this works. It's really, really simple, but people make it seem more difficult. By the way, before I do that, what are you guys drinking? Because don't forget, we need our bunches of water.
back to our back to our thing. The cage system works like this. You're drinking water, good. And thank you, Steve, for letting me know about the guitar volume. All right. So number one, uh, when you play an open chord, you can move it on a guitar. So if I played, uh, let's do E major first, actually. If I play the E major chord, this is like a, an extra finger, the end of the guitar. You can't play any lower than that. Nothing will happen, right? So that's almost like a finger. So you know how a capo, you put, put it down, it makes the end of the guitar shorter? Well, your index finger could be used as a capo. That's what the cage system really is, essentially. So if we play this E major chord, and then I say, I gotta, hang on a second, I gotta stand up for a moment. Excuse me, too much water without standing. So if, if this is the chord, now I can move that up here. Let's go up to a G position. So the four, fifth and fourth fret. Now it doesn't sound too grand because the index finger isn't down. So these are op open strings still. So what you wanna do, is put your index now that's a capo all right so that's an e shape so here's an e shape and here's an e shape all right so your root note is here so if this is a b that's a b major if this is an a here which it is it's an a major all right and the same works for the other shape so if we played an a now some people do it like this my, my fingers are too fast, so I just go like that or like this. So if you play an A chord, these, this is an open note here and there. So what I will do there is I will say, okay, let's play the A chord here and let's bar, make a capo here. So the capo is going to go. So it's just the same chord for the A. But slide it up. Oh, cool. You play by ear. Melodies you try to work out, and that's in your head. Okay. Well, I can, I can work with that, too, for the cage system a little bit. All right, so then the C chord. So let's play the C shape and put a capo. There's a C sharp. There's a D. D sharp. E. F. F sharp. G. G sharp. A. All right, the D chord. Same thing. Capo it. Capo, slide it up, capo. It's an A sharp minor, B minor, C minor. See how easy that is? All right, let's sit back down for a moment. See, that's very sim simple to understand that. Uh, that's where the cage system uh, started. And then uh, people went kind of crazy and they started saying you could uh, um, identify scale positions based on a chord. And I mean, you kind of can in one way, but it's not going to be fully accurate because you're missing a lot of options usually, like the way people show it. Um, a shred buddy. All right, so anyway, if we're going to go through these things, um, then what you have to do is sort out all your options. So if we played an, an A major chord, for instance, that is part of the A major scale. So people say this E shape means this. And that's correct, but the only thing is that's not the only option. So the, the A major chord is also in the, the D major scale. Alright, so if we went... you call mixolydian when you hear it against that A. And the E major scale. Which creates a Lydian mode sound. 
Isn't that cool? So essentially the cage system, people try to use it to show that. However, I don't think that's the right way to do it. I think that's kind of, um, it feels pointless. And my analogy is this. If you were trying to learn, learn a bunch of words, like a dictionary of words or whatever, um, you wouldn't see it as much of an advantage to say any word that contains an A are in this list because it's backwards. You don't need to, to recognize the letter to understand what the words are. You know, It's the other way around. You could look at a word, you know what it is, and then you could see what the letters are. That's what I'm saying. You could do it this way with the cage system to learn your scale shapes a little bit. Uh, the only thing is you're going to get some misinformation slightly because you're not getting all the info is, is how that works. It's, it's a little bit tricky to explain, but trust me on it. It's better, I think, to just firstly learn the scale positions as th no, three notes per string for the most part. Do all those and then notice where the chords fit. But that's, I don't, I know people aren't into theory so much, so I don't want to get too heavily into it on here. Um, all right, so don't, don't get it wrong. You know your bar chords. You just never apply theory. Oh, that's fine. You always wanted to transition from minor to major in soloing, but really don't really know much about major. Oh, all right, so here's the thing. If you're playing minor um, stuff, if you if you think you do the minor scale or whatever, you're still doing, it's just a major scale, but your tonal center is different. So for instance, if I played, uh, watch, if I went like this, If I did that, but I had E as my tonal center, um, it becomes E minor, E aeolian, really. And that's the thing. I, uh, one of these things about me is I don't think there should be anything called a minor scale. I don't think we need it. We already have a mode called aeolian. That covers that in theory so I don't see the point and some people try to argue with me on that a little bit in the past and their argument is based on uh, chord progression analysis and they think it feels easier to include secondary options with the same cadence um, to the minor tonality I understand the desire to make things feel like it's easier to me it seems more complex yeah you know so uh, you drop half step in certain areas Oh, if well, no, 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 not not necessarily. I'm I'm doing the same thing. So here's the here's this. Listen to this lick. And I'll keep doing that while I play an E. See how it sounds like an E minor now? It's a darker, um, sadder kind of sound. That's the mode of Aeolian. That's E minor scale. Um, I didn't change my notes. I'm using all the same notes except for my bass note. My tonal center in this particular case went from a G, and then I, be I made it an E by going. So that was an E minor chord or an E bass note. So that's all it is. So uh, modes, that's a whole other thing to get into. But modes are essentially, uh, the easiest way I, s I see them to help people understand is this. A mode is what you hear when you're listening of the connection between a tonal center within a scale. So whatever the scale happens to be, there's notes in it. If you're using one of those notes as a tonal center, that's going to give you a different mode sound than another tonal, tonal center within the scale. That's all it is. So it's not about all... A lot of people go out in crazy discussions that aren't accurate, and it makes me kind of nuts a little bit. So I don't want to... Hey, what's up? And I see the name... Yeah, I am. I'm saying it wrong. All right, 1789, I think. Welcome to this uh, chat on here. I'm about to get going, though. I need to get some food in me. It's been a little... What time is it now? Yeah, it's been like four hours. I gotta eat. I exercise. I didn't eat anything like an idiot. Um, so, everybody, thank you for stopping in. It's been fun. I don't want to be too, too long in here every time. So, please, if you haven't already, on the Twitch hit that um, follow button on there so we could get more people going on so it looks like we're doing a better thing in here so they understand that we're doing something cool. Otherwise, they don't know anybody's really doing anything unless they hit follow, I guess, which is unfortunate, but that's I, I think that's the way Twitch is working right now. 
So if you haven't, then please do that. If you have, then thank you very much. I appreciate it. I know everybody on here does. We're a big group and growing. A lot of you guys have known each other a little bit for a while anyway. And if not, get to know each other. Exchange your details and all that. Um, so welcome to our chat group. What I don't even know what to call this here. It was going to be my practice thing. Um, I guess it's uh, practicing guitar with me. So if you guys have guitars out and you're practicing with me, that's awesome. Congratulations on practicing and getting a little bit better today. And learning the warm-up that I do. Uh, that's actually my I, that's my warm up that I do either before a show if I need a warm up, uh, or if I have to record or if I don't want, if I don't want to suck during it, something I'm doing, I'll work on that a little bit. So everybody, take your time practicing through those uh, warm up routines and ideas, and I'll see you next time. I'm gonna try to get a schedule on here if I can, if I can figure one out. Um, that's kind of consistent. You guys seem to like it later at night. So maybe that's I'll, maybe I'll go a little bit towards that direction. We'll see how it works. But if you have a suggestion for the uh, schedule of when you would like these, just type it in. Uh, let me know, and we're gonna try to try to sort all that out soon. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. Thanks so much. Before I go, I'm gonna do one jam session. All right. We'll do one jam session over like uh, something. Let me see. Uh, we'll do some kind of a emotional rock. Let's see if this one's any good though. An e major. I never heard this before, so if it's bad, don't blame me. <laughs>
Hijo oh, I'm glad you like that uh, cover I did, thanks
I am getting a little bit worn out and tired. Screwing up a little bit. But thanks for stopping in, guys. Glad you had fun. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, I can't see the name. Z. Jesus. Zoxo. Why are these text names getting smaller on here or what? But yeah, I'm glad you like that Vancouver uh, beatdown thing. That was kind of a fun intro. It was hard, actually, because I was having that. that I forget the part. That tappy thing was a bitch. But it was it was fun. That that girl drumming was pretty good too. I uh, I might have messed up her drum sound a little bit, um, but I made it sound a little bit more metal than it was kind of I think. But anyway, all right guys, I'm out. I'll see you next time. Remember, go on the Twitch, hit the follow button. Uh, go to alanvanwert.com if you're interested in whatever else I'm doing on here, all that stuff. All right, bye. <laughs>